What's up, Shomai fans? Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. And hello, One Boo. This is the latest addition to One Boo's series or projector, the One Boo Projector T4. It has autofocus, full HD 1080p. It has four directional keystone correction, which has automatic up and down. It also has same screen projection, which will actually allow you to mirror your phone or any of your device to the projector screen. How cool is that? Let's have a look. Let's go. All right, first things first is let's unbox this. And by the way, if you are interested in getting this, you can check the link in the description below. It goes to Banggood. Uh, this has some huge discount, about 33% of discount. If you are one of the early birds, probably by the time of this video, it will be just recently uh, released. So, well, hopefully you'll get that huge discount. So here it is, we're unboxing this. So it says, you happy, I happy. That's from Wenbu. First thing we have is the uh, Wenbu uh, manual, inst instruction manual. Okay, so it's packed nicely. It also comes with the uh, remote control. Let me, uh, look at the remote control. It is a white and black uh, buttons with the name Wenbu at the bottom. We're gonna check those later. And of course we have the uh, power adapter. Let me take out the Wenbu projector. Hmm, this is pretty cool. It seems as it has the same size as the uh, first, uh, the T2 Max that I got, uh, but we're gonna explore that. All right, so let's have a look at this projector. At the back, if you look closely, there's the power port, you have the USB port, you have the HDMI port, and also the 3.5 mm jack. And on the side, you'll see the speaker. So you can see there are like speakers here, and also there's a speaker grill on the other side as well. And at the top appears to be a button. This could be a power button. Also, there is heat dissipation. So if I'm not mistaken, if this is the same design as the one last time, heat will come out from the front, the air that will come in from the back. So that, that's a very well designed because if you're watching something, usually you put your projector in front. So the heat exit on the front instead of coming to you. And there is a camera uh, on the front. And the front camera is responsible for the autofocus and auto adjustment. Let me just point out that there is a thread here at the bottom. This is actually for you to uh, put it on a tripod. Let's power this up and see what are the things or what are the contents of this projector. So all you need to do is just plug into the power port and you'll have a red indicator light from the back. So to power this up, press and hold this button at the top. All right, so we're all powered up and let's see what we have in here. So at the top, you can actually see some um, like options. You have search home apps, video, music, and settings. So we're gonna check out the search and this is where you can search some videos online. And then let's go to home. So home basically is the main page or the dashboard where you can see all the apps that's being, uh, auto, uh, that has been downloaded and some uh, links to videos, uh, probably these are popular videos that goes to YouTube. So um, I've already downloaded Netflix and YouTube. The other ones are actually preloaded. So let's go to apps. So apps, these are uh, probably the preloaded apps or you can go to the app store. So basically these are free apps and you can also go to a Google Play Store. You can sign into your Google. So, um, App Store, let's see what we can find in here. All right, so mostly these are stream, streaming apps. Uh, you can have your uh, TV apps, Netflix, Amazon, uh, Prime Video, and it's good that they have some Chrome so that you can use it for browsing 
and you can have other apps here as well that you can download mostly are playing videos obviously because this is a projector although it is a play store but don't expect that all the android apps are available because android apps basically needs to be compatible with the projector but nevertheless you still have some games that you can play from here but let me go now to the video so video this are like your video app uh, or just shortcuts to some videos i believe these are from from amazon prime that they're showing or these are from uh, youtube as well that music uh, mainly it goes to some music videos from youtube the top so you have the bluetooth icon you also have the weather you have the wi-fi logo and also the time settings here is uh, showing the network so network settings this is where you connect to your wi-fi so it supports dual band wi-fi the 2.4 gigahertz and the uh, 5 gigahertz wi-fi the projector settings this is uh, where we can find the settings for like projection front or you can actually flip the screen if that's required for you so those are pretty much uh, self-explanatory so let's now move to the other settings we have the input source you also have the media center if you can actually save up to 16 gigabytes of memory inside the projector this is where you update the software the clean memory this is actually just clearing the cache on the device and you also have some system settings so system settings you have your network time settings, common settings. All right, common settings, you'll have your language settings, application management. This is where you uninstall or show the list of the apps and also manage uh, the permissions. You have the screensaver and then you have the inputs. So you can uh, switch to other inputs here as well. It will auto detect if you have it plugged in. And then you have the picture. So picture you can switch up to different picture modes. And then you have the color temperature, you can have just to fine tune the picture if you are not satisfied with the current picture that is preset. As well as sound, sound you can also change the uh, sound quality to standard, vivid, sports, same as the uh, categories on the uh, picture. So you have the keyboard and accessibility so you can do some local update or system update and also some system recovery which you can reset the whole device. So uh, you have the about projector, which will display to you what are the information about the projector. Uh, you'll have the language here as well. They have uh, pretty much uh, a good list of, of common languages. Uh, you'll have the boot source and also the Bluetooth uh, setting. That is if you want to pair or add a device. It has great video quality. It's clear and it's good lighting and contrast because of its HDR10 support. C40 is a new series model by Poco. It is the cheapest Poco phone that they released this year. We're going to find out why is it so cheap and would you consider this as your next phone? Well, those are the questions that we're going to answer today. I would say that the speakers are not the fantastic. The speaker that comes with it are just pretty much basic. We used to be solid, not falling apart. Things never know. All right, so now let's talk about its remote controls. You'll have your volumes, you'll have your back home button and also your settings. You can actually switch between the selection on the screen or you can use like a, a pointer on the mouse. And this is this is the power button and you have for navigation up, down, side to side. And the other two buttons over here is actually very useful because this is for manual adjustment on the focus. So you can just press that. So it's quite easy to just press and hold, then it would adjust the focus. And one thing to point out about the remote control, it doesn't come with any battery, so you need to get your own batteries. So now we're gonna check out the screen sharing or screencast. And on paper, this is compatible on both Android and iOS. Okay, so you'll have that uh, Miracast 
option. Make sure the cast is enabled on your phone. As you can see on my phone that I have the cast enabled and it sees the smart projector. So I can just tap on it to connect. So let's go, let's wait for it to connect. It's trying to connect now. And there you go. So I can actually see on the screen what I have in here. So yep, so as you can see, let's try playing a uh, video. So as you can see, yep, it's, there's no delay. Comes so it's being broadcasted on the screen. Okay, what do I think about the projector? Well, this is a huge upgrade uh, from the previous version, which is the T2 Max that I got before, because you don't have to adjust or do any adjustments on the uh, focus and also on the alignment, which is really, really convenient. And with it comes to its response and also the apps that's built in, I would say that I would prefer the apps uh, in here because these are like new layout and new uh, compatibility on the apps. It has HDR10 as well, so the picture quality is slightly better in terms of watching videos compared to the previous version. And this is quite affordable. Right now there is a discount. You can check the link in the description below. There's a discount, early bird discount, which is about 33%. So make sure you check the link in the description below. It goes to Banggood. They sent me this product, but the reviews here are actually my own honest review. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. This has been Christian from All About Me and I'll see you on the next video.